morning to you all. It is morning gospel copy. So our gospel day is continuation from yesterday, John chapter 8, verses 21 through 30. And again, I would suggest that you actually read the passage because uh, it's complicated and there's a lot there. But in the essence, it just, I mean, it's here Jesus finishing up his argument, discussions, fight with the Pharisees. And again, he's telling them that he is uh, doing what the Father he is doing what the Father has sent him to do. He's speaking what he has learned from the Father, and he's setting up a contrast between them, the religious leaders who he says, you are in the world, and he who comes from above. And for me, I guess, the just is to keep this relationship to, to, uh, to salvation, that Jesus came to save us. And salvation is about us being free, and freedom is about us making and wanting to make the right choices that help build up unity, that help us do good in the world. You know, freedom is not about how many guns, guns I can own, who I can sleep with, uh, how much medical marijuana I can have. It's not about doing what I want to do. That's not freedom. And that's what Jesus teaches. That's from below. From above, freedom is about that choice, that desire to want to do good and to do good for others. And so, you know, in these final days of Lent, it, it is up for us. It is, it, is, it is important for us to remember that concept of freedom and that Jesus came to save us, to give us that freedom, that ability, that grace, that power to choose to do what is right and good. As he says, he'll be lifted up, the Son of Man will be lifted up on a cross, giving himself up for others. And that's what we are called to do. That's the ultimate sign of freedom, where we can give of ourselves for others. So something else to think about today. So enjoy the day. It's supposed to be beautiful out there. Okay, take care.